Johann Frederick Karl Gauss, the Prince of Mathematics. Johann was born in the town of Braunschweig, Germany on the 30th of April, 1777. A very young Johann continued to impress by summing the integers between 1 and 100 almost instantly for his teachers in his early years of schooling. This would mark the beginning of a mathematical genius, studying at Caroline College and the University of Göttingen. He worked with many other academics, including astronomers Zach, Olbers, Schormer, and Bessel. On the 23rd of February, 1855, Gauss died in Göttingen at an age of 77. Gauss made many remarkable contributions in the field of mathematics. These include a method of modular arithmetic, the Gaussian function and error curve, known as Gaussian distribution, the discovery of how to draw a 17-sided regular polygon, where in his proof he directed other mathematicians to develop Galois theory, asserted the fundamental method of reducing matrices to row echelon form, known as Gaussian elimination, which became one of the essential functional concepts in computational mathematics. But his most important contributions are attributed to his work with the fundamental theorem of algebra, and his development of the method of least squares in determining positions in the orbit of celestial bodies. Gauss produced a textbook on number theory, the title of which can be translated to Investigations in Arithmetic. It contained his work on the fundamental theorem of algebra. Previous attempts to prove this theory were deemed rather unsatisfactory, which led Gauss to propose four alternative proofs. His work relied heavily on geometry, giving an understanding of the Argon diagram, this use of geometry clearly impacted Argon's work, as prior to Gauss's adoption of his diagrams and proofs, his work carried little weight amongst the mathematical community. Also amongst this work, Gauss normalized the representation of a complex number as A equals IB. Some controversy arose as to the validity of this proof, however it was later shown that Gauss's work was indeed correct. Prior to this, the area of complex numbers was viewed with much skepticism. How could something imaginary exist in harmony with logic? However, Gauss's contribution made this area of mathematics a fundamental one, being used in many areas such as computational mathematics and engineering. In 1795, Gauss used the method of least squares to predict the orbits of the celestial bodies. He produced yet another textbook titled Theria Motris Corporum Colestium in Sectionibus Cornicus Sotum Ambientium. This book dealt with the motion of celestial bodies, differential equations, conic sections, and elliptical orbits. Although his findings in these fields advanced the application of mathematics to astronomy, it was in fact his original use of the method of least squares that revolutionized mathematics. Four predictions as to the whereabouts of celestial bodies were published in the 1790s. Only one of these was proven correct, and this was Gauss's. So what does this method of least squares involve? The least square estimate of data is the orthogonal projection of the data vector onto the independent variable subspace. At the time, this impacted many astronomers and mathematicians working in the same field, simply because other methods of determining locations of celestial bodies had failed. This concept, however, is not limited to this field. Currently, the areas of statistics and financial mathematics rely heavily on this method. Although Johann Frederick Karl Gauss was often viewed as reclusive and arrogant, there is no denying that he truly was one of the greatest mathematicians of all time, rightfully inheriting the title, the Prince of Mathematics.